there is an entire <laughs> cat kingdom. Not even a colony. Well, like, you love cats. Like a kingdom of cats. Yes, I am in heaven. I want to scoop them all up and take them home. But Chris is super allergic to cats, so I can't touch any of them. No. Because I don't want to bring it in the house. We're not bringing another cat home. With Roscoe. They're so cute. Roscoe's going to let them, like, slap him in the head, and then he's just going to beat them up. We don't have any stray cats around our house because Roscoe is, like, an aggressive tomcat. He, and, he, and he's super sweet. He's, like, the sweetest thing in the world. But he makes it known I'm in charge. Yeah. Even with Tabitha. Hey, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down and catch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where we're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So, it's day three. It's Thursday. It is. And I am so excited because the festivities are just like, you can feel Tomorrow. The, the, the pulse of like, it's starting to happen. <laughs> so, of course, I got up. I came outside. Got something out of the car. Allergies are acting up. I'm sneezing. Anytime I Change travel of temperature for to me. a new place and have a new temperature. New weather. We have to up the electrolytes. Yeah. Honestly. Yep. Because you're thinking, well, I'm I'm not really exerting a ton of energy. I mean, we were sitting in a car for yeah. two days. But, like, all of it is a factor. Yep. So, yeah, when I went to bed, I was just like, wow, I feel, like, puffy around the eyes. Speaking of electrolytes, yeah, we're really excited because Redmond is coming out with some new electrolyte products you're going to be able to get them in capsule form for those of you who don't want to drink it or want something on the go yeah and uh we have a zoom meeting to find out more about that later on this afternoon tonight we're going over to autumn's I'm so for excited. a barbecue with just like us and we i did chris and miriam mama chris you get to see mama chris Are you super excited we all i i know what i'm excited about i know like listen autumn she's a social media person she's yeah. a content creator i will be sneaking a camera into that barbecue. Like there oh, is no, there's no to. doubt about it. Look at that deck that's over there. Is that not awesome off the back of the house? I oh want that gosh. like underneath like those trees and stuff like that. I was completely. Let's take a walk. I was completely mesmerized by the cat colony. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, so <laughs> we are super excited about this. I just, I'm excited to see people. Oh, like yeah. so many people who we've been talking to for a year two sometimes three years we haven't seen autumn in over two years yeah just to be able to hang out with people are we gonna walk through the colony? we're gonna walk through the colony of people you gotta take a look at this so what are you most excited about this week i am most excited about seeing people i mean I, that really is how i felt when i got to see shauna for the first time because and we were talking about that last night i probably talked to shauna every single day yeah i mean there's 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 family members that you are blood related to right that you don't talk to but once you know let's get the cats in the back a year or <laughs> right and she's such a part of my life and there are so many people that are such a part of my every single day life right and the opportunity to see them in person is just is such a treasure yeah well, speaking of Shauna, I know Shauna and Lynette are already up early. We're going to go for it's, a walk. It's actually, this is late for us. It's 824. We needed to sleep in because yeah, honestly. We never sleep this late. But travel gets me excited. Does yeah. travel get you excited? Leave a comment down below. Even on a trip, I don't get the hours of sleep that I really need because yeah. I'm anticipating the new day. And also, like, we had a little bit of, you know, car issues and, like, we had to mail home our, our keys to our truck. So, <sighs> Anthony, can I, so at any time you have any kind of bumbles along the road, that stresses me out and makes it so that I can't get to sleep even when I'm tired. I got two things I'm excited for today. What? You're not going to like these. Number one, I just got notification that my brand new Kamado grill is being delivered tomorrow. Komodo? Kamado. 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 It's Kamado. Kamado. It's K-A-M-A-D-O. You just like it because it's a Joe. Yeah. And also, 
Stephen Holly are gonna be here in 30 minutes and I got my challenge coin. Good. And I feel like as soon as Chris gets up this morning, you we're gonna him. ask him, do, do you have your, your coin? Do you have your challenge coin so on you? So Steve gave us this cool coin. This is actually the armor of God. I which love it. is probably my so favorite uh, part of the Bible where we talk about the armor of God. But he said, it's the military thing. You have to have your coin. And if I say to Chris, do you have your coin? I wanna see your coin. If he doesn't, He's got to drop down and do some push-ups. Oh, man. So we're going to try to get Chris. And, and I know I'm not going to get Steve, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I hope you have your coin. Because they will get you. Now it's a thing that, like, it's the first thing I pack. Yeah, it's the I first thing. I don't leave home without it. Yeah. We're at the Louisville Slugger Museum. And we are here to learn all about football. Where it gets started. How do they make the balls? Balls. So excited about today. There's no crying in baseball. I didn't think that I would get as much as I did out of going to the Louisville Slugger Museum because I'm not a baseball aficionado, but learning about the bats and what it takes to make them are amazing. Just totally, this was just really fun and interesting and I love all of the history. Churchill Downs to go to the, the Churchill Downs Museum. It's not the Churchill Downs the Museum. Derby. The Kentucky the Derby. The Kentucky Derby. Derby. There's a huge difference. Yes. It's the Kentucky Derby Museum at Churchill Downs. It's funny because I've never been to Churchill Downs and I grew up in New York and you have like Belmont and stuff. And this is super This swanky. place is swanky in the parking lot. So one day we're going to be standing here next to the horse that we own that wins the Kentucky Derby. Absolutely. Absolutely. It takes, what, just millions and millions of dollars? Well, I've been training a horse at home. Tabitha is nearly there. She She's, might win. She is going to give the other horses a very big run for their money. Are you going to be the jockey? I absolutely. I, there is no way I could fit into this jockey outfit, though. What are you doing? Taking pictures of these gorgeous dresses and the suits. The suits are more like interesting right. than I don't. I can't see you wearing that, but I could totally no. see most women being like fine to wear this. Yeah. But but the guy outfits are like like they're, about, they're, they're about being just like showy. Yeah, everything, right? yeah. When you when Rachel says, "Boy, that's a little over the top," then you know <laughs> you need to back it up, rein it in. That was an amazing video, and I totally get it. Like I think we're all. Guys? Well, I think that we're just going to have a lot more respect for all of the effort that's put into this race because, you know, just thinking about seeing it from day one of this horse's life and all of the effort that is put into this, just the heart and soul. What really struck me is that some of these horses can literally go from zero to 40 miles an hour in three strides. Like three strides. Think about that. Yeah. We're really fortunate today. We're actually taking um, the last tour that's going to be allowed to, to walk down to uh, the course through this route today. So pretty excited. This is the way the horses go. So stay out of the middle. Yeah, watch out for the uh, poop. It's just horse poop. It's manure. It's fine, it's natural. You grow your vegetables in it. I mean, I think Rachel, horses have walked down this and won the Kentucky Derby. Champions. Right? Can is you that imagine, like awesome? Can you imagine the nerves <laughs> for the jockeys? Like talk about like, you got, Two minutes and change. Change the rest of your life. 
It took them three years to get here. So this is where someone's life has changed forever. Imagine these stands completely full. All the horses would be like, um, no. <laughs> I feel like Steve and Holly are gonna win. I'm gonna beat them. I'm totally gonna beat them. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to Autumn's house. For... Meat. We're gonna have a bunch of meat. All the meats. We've got Rachel and we got Bronson. Yay! And then everybody else is in Chris's car who's driving like a maniac. And, well, he's not <laughs> driving like a maniac. He's in complete control of his car, but like it's it's hard when you're trying to follow somebody, but it's not a highway, it's light. So one one of you catches a light and one of you doesn't. So we just, we got stuck in a light. So we've got our, our British map quest guide. I was just gonna say we've got our British <laughs> so map quest. I feel like it's like we've got the directions and a little bit of like National Geographic going on. It's kind of fun. Dad, um, come here, stop. Okay, now Joe is happy. The whole trip. Yay! I'm here. I'm gonna hug. Sorry. Sorry. Steve's like. Now everybody up and swinging it around. Everything is meaning in China. Watching the cooking going on, like we're here in the yes, kitchen. Yes, you are here. This is where the magic happens. And it so. smells like some magic is happening. Yeah, my husband yeah, making some magic. magic happen out there. So oh, yes, I'm so excited. Here, I know everyone's out there. Please, Beautiful. this away. Thank you. So good to see you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for videoing this because I certainly will not be. <laughs> we got it. I can't, I can't, I can't vlog. Yay! I can't do it. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this amazingness. Wow. Ooh. I don't have enough grill. What are you saying? This, there's something wrong here. He's got more grills than me. Man, is this beautiful. I know, I'm trying. So I remember when I first came to see this house was for sale. Like, and because my grandmother, I grew up two streets over. And so when I was coming back to Louisville to look for a house, I saw that this said, this said, I was like, ah! I was like, oh my God, let me come here. And we looked inside the house and it was so cute. And the owner, the previous owner was like, oh, take a look out back. And we all just were like, and you're like, oh my God, oh my gosh. And he said, why don't you walk to the bridge? People think that's fun. And so <laughs> me and mom were walking to the bridge. We're like, how do we get this house? I have yeah, to own yeah, this house. Yeah, 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 you're talking have, like, yeah, right. I have, I have to live here. Don't what act do? desperate. I yeah. want it, I want it. Don't act desperate. We were just like, what do I do? I have to live here. I have to have this house. So like, and then you go all the way back there. And then you go all the way back to the other side. Bridge. Bridge. Yep, that's mine too, right? Exactly. Oh and then if you go okay, back there, every, feel free to take a walk if you would like. But then you turn around and look back and you're like, I'm so Hello. far away. It's a 5K. Yeah, it is. It is like, the house looks like a dot from way back there. When adults play little kid games. Right. <laughs> hey, wow. It's captivating, man. Hey, I was just going to say, it's kind of like a little boiled down miniature game of strength. Thank you so much for A, being here physically at my house on a Thursday, right? But more than that, for just, <laughs> co yeah, for coming here to Keto Palooza, like it, you know, it started last year. So I went to a meetup last year and well, two years ago at this point. And when I first heard about the meetup, I was just like, oh, it's gonna be great. I didn't even know there were other keto people in Louisville. I'm gonna make so many friends and we're gonna do, you know, like we're just gonna make so many bonds. And when I got there, it was just, it kind of seemed like, like a high school lunchroom. Like everyone's already talking to each other and I had like a tray and I was just like, everyone's already <laughs> friends and I don't know these people, right? So me and my mom literally sat at the bar the whole time and we just like ate snacks by ourselves, right? And when we left, we didn't know anyone more than when we got there, right? And so I was just like, and I was telling my people on YouTube, I was just like, I had been building up to it for weeks and they were so excited. They're like, how was the meetup? How was the meetup? <laughs> 
bummer. Like I didn't really meet anybody. I didn't talk to anybody. And I said, I want to make an event where like everyone gets to know each other and where everyone feels special and everyone feels included. And like, I was like, if I did something like that, would you guys come? And they're like, yes, Autumn, do it. And I was like, no, you, it's okay. You guys wouldn't actually come in person. It's, they're like, Autumn, make something and we'll come. So like last year I scheduled Keto Palooza, the very first Keto Palooza for last March. Then or May was it, and then we had a global pandemic, and so nobody could come, right? Oh, and so I, the, I know, right? That happened. <laughs> <laughs> you were too, right? Yes, and so we nervous. moved it to September because people were like, "We still want to come. We still want to come." So last year we had it in uh, in the Aloft Hotel. About thirty people were still able to make it. You know, we got some two towers this year, right? Yeah. Um, and so it was just such a great fun event with even those people, and they were like, "I can't wait for next year, next year." I was like. Next year, like I, I plan for this to be a one-off sort of thing, you know. So like now, I guess it's a yearly thing now, and so it has just grown so much. And tomorrow there will be about like eighty or ninety people there, so basically tripled, like in size from the first year. So I can only imagine what's going to happen next year, and then just having sponsors and guests and speakers and blah. And so like, we had none of that last year, and so it's just I know, right? It's just gotten so big, and I'm so appreciative that you were here. Um, and so now let's eat. Look at this. Dr. Barry is playing football with Mama Chris. And she's got a pretty good arm. Look at that spiral. So Bronson is challenging you to a wing thing. A wing thing? He thinks that he can eat more wings than you. But he'd be wrong though. <laughs> Poor little thing. <laughs> thinking that he can eat more wings than me. I can put him away, baby. But we'd have to do it now. Why because not? I got to eat beef, butter, bacon, and eggs when we get back. Oh, wait, so Dr. Barry said you can have any kind of pork. There's nothing special about pork. Okay, about did we talk about electro... What about Zip Fizz? Uh, he said he would go... For, since we're Redmond. doing 25 days, Redmond. he would go 25 days with no sweetener. Okay. But I can have my Redmond. Okay, But not Redmond. no stevia in coffee. Okay, I'm fine. I, I but you much can have a little bit of coffee. I have pretty much gone back to drinking it black, which is a huge success. Who do we have here? I, my second place. No, no, that you're sitting with. Oh, we've got Teal and her husband here. It's amazing. We, I've known her for a long time, but never got to meet her in person. That's right. And and there's so much more to her than this little circle on the side of it. <laughs> Could you share a little bit about how did you come to find Keto? Well, I found keto as a way Sorry. to control my type 1 diabetes. My last A1C and pretty much for the last three years has been 5.6. That is amazing. It is amazing because I've seen it in the, the teens. In my and people birth. say that you can't do keto if you have a type 1 diabetic. I guess I have to stop then, huh? <laughs> guess what? What? Um, today's Friday. I know, I'm writing Fearless Friday right now. And today's the first day of Keto Palooza. The Yay! actual Keto Palooza. I'm going to sit up a little bit. All the pre events are done, and it's the real deal today. Speaking of pre events, guess what that means? What? We forgot to close out last night's vlog. Oh, we sure did. <laughs> we really stick in daily vlogging. We've we got to get better at this. Man, we need to pray Especially more for daily vloggers. Considering that we're about to start. A daily what I eat in a day, like every day for 25 days. Well, here's the thing: practice makes progress. So we're That's going good. to, I like that. so we're going to get better and better every day. So yeah, in our defense, okay, we did get to hang out with Autumn last night and we did at her miss house anything. and Dr. Barry, and we did our live stream and everybody jumped in on our live stream, which was really so cool. Fun. It was so fun. Dr. Barry jumped in and Autumn jumped in. And we had so much fun. Her property gorgeous. is gorgeous. Breathtaking. It, it makes me want to move here to Louisville, right? It it's makes Louisville. me Louisville. want to move into her, her backyard. House. Yes. Yeah, just she's right. She's got peach trees and walnut trees. She doesn't use them, but she she's has, got them. She has, an, she has a storage uh, building. I think we'll just live in the garage. She's we'll got be a those building people. she said she's never been in since the day she bought her house. We could just live there. It's just waiting. We could just live right there. Not a, I wouldn't have a problem So at all. much fun. And then we got back here at like 1030 at night. My head hit the pillow and I was done. My head hit the pillow after I had a few more pork rinds and spinach dip. 
Yeah. I got to get in a little bit of spinach gotta dip get in a little bit. before the challenge starts. Well, right now they're downstairs making some jalapeno poppers, but I did want to close this vlog out. So today begins the festivities. It does. So we're gonna see you in the next video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which should be day one. And that's gonna be right over there. With all the junk on my nightstand. Yeah. But whether you go this way or you go this way, don't forget to go this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.